Here with a sealed terrarium that could last you decades. Does anything ever last that long these days, Shirley? Well, if it's well taken care of, really? it really can. As a matter of fact, I was inspired because I saw on the internet a photo of this gentleman, I think he's in his 80s now, who put a garden. Oh, yeah, look at this. He put this together in the 70s, so it's about 60 years it's been growing in there wow. and as a beautiful what? little vine. Yeah, and he never had to open it to water it. So today what? I'm going to teach you how to do the same thing. And Wait, is it magic in a bottle? Genie in a bottle? How no, it it's just it's nature in a bottle. Nature in a yeah, bottle. Yeah, it'll so do its thing. So it's magic dirt. Is that what it is? Well, what kind of really. soil are we talking about? Okay, here? so really the secret behind this is that you prepare your bottle correctly because think about it. If you put water in any container and it doesn't I mean, it doesn't flow out. Yeah. It gets st stagnant. Yes. So yeah. you need to prepare the base of your bottle with gravel and with horticultural charcoal. Horticultural and charcoal. This is okay. not the same thing as uh, charcoal, briquettes. Like briquettes. No, you get it at the garden center. And it's probably not the same charcoal that you use for, like, you know, face masks. Well, maybe. maybe. Yeah. But here's the thing. Okay. What you're going to do is take a little bit of gravel, but it's got to be fine gravel, not the big but pieces. Not the big chunks. This okay. is going to go at the bottom of your bottle with this, so mix those two together. Then, before you add your special soil, which really is just regular potting soil, you put a layer of weed cloth, say this is your bottle, and then you add your soil last. And the reason for that is that you want your soil to stay here and not to you know, go in here and become yeah. muddy. And it does kind of give it a better, much better drainage. Interesting. Isn't that great? Okay, well, now, all right, so we've got the soil got and the, the rocks soil. and the charcoal. How do I get the plants in a hole that small? I know. Yeah. Well, number one, <laughs> well, that's let's, take a look at some of these, let's take a look at some of these beauties. You, you may be wondering, how in the world did Shirley get that in here? It really isn't that difficult if you select the right plants. And what I mean by that is they should be as small as possible. And I found some ferns that are in little two-inch pots. I also found this beautiful maiden hair in a larger pot. And what is okay to do, guys, it is okay to, look what I did, I removed most of the soil around the root ball. Okay. So as long as this area can fit through the hole, uh -huh. you can get it in there. Okay. Now, you might need to make some of, of your own tools. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Look at oh this. My goodness. It's crazy. I mean, I didn't originate the idea, but it was so fun looking for a stick and, you know, putting a, a, a little spoon on it. So what you're going to do, you, are you guys ready to play? You're yes. going to help me too. I mean, okay. you, can, you can just plop them in, but you yeah. have to arrange them and make them nice. Absolutely. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my makeshift rake, and because I want this in the middle, I'm going to go ahead and make like a little hole because you still want to dig it in. Yeah. And so here you go, my dear. Right. This yep. now. Oh, I need my stick, the green the stick, stick. The, the green to direct rock. it. Look, right. and you know what, guys? You're going to come up with your own tools because nobody told me what to use. I just figured, oh, I need something that's more like this. Okay, you see how oh, that I just went in there? Yep. Let me have my little stool. This Thank you, so my assistant. Neat. Now, could you use seeds or do you want to start with a small plant? You can. You, you can, can use seeds, but it would have to be a plant that is a humidity lover, one that really depends on on humidity to live. You see how I'm, can you, the camera see how I'm, yeah. Yeah. yeah, isn't that cool? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna oh just gosh, dig it in. That. And here's the other thing. Okay, now pretend that I didn't do that. <laughs> oh my, what did I do? I oh, you got you caught got on stuck. your spoon. Oh no. I see a flaw in the design there. We're okay. gonna have to go back Oh no, the I feel like yeah. such a failure. Let me fix this. Yeah, fix anyway, that. here's the deal. Once you plant this in, uh -huh. which you take your time. I mean, yeah. I may just have a few minutes to explain, but there you go, you got I it. had it's a lot of fun zen. doing that. It, very, very much zen. so. Then what you do is you add your secondary plants. This one probably will fit without me taking this out. Okay. Uh -huh. And so I'm yeah, going to go ahead. Look and look that. how I direct it. I make a slide for it so that it goes slide into right that there. right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and then wow. you dig that in, and then you would... You it's amazing how it small those look out here, but once they get inside the bottle, that They're first like one you put in felt yeah, like it that's was right. a tree. Isn't that great? Like this. So that I think that's all I'm going to put and in now. And then you put okay. decorations yeah. inside. And you can. As a matter of fact, from here in our uh, bottles, you can see that I have different color moss, uh -huh. and I have also glass, all kinds of fun things that you can add later, uh -huh. and that's all part of the fun. But I want to get to the part where, how do you keep it alive? Right. Yeah, I mean, how again, do you, if, uh, but you're going to seal it. That's how right. How is it going to live? Okay, here's the deal. So let's say I was completely finished. Uh, my dear, can you hand me the water? Oh, oh my okay. gosh. Yes. That's now, water okay, 
Now, okay, well, you can, no one's gonna tell you that you can't just pour the water in, but you don't want to fill this so much that it becomes a, you know, a swamp. That's a pond, Because that's yeah. not good. And so here's what I like to do. I take my baster, and I actually run it against the wall. You see how that runs? Isn't that fun? Oh, wow, because, that's good on the outside. Yeah, but you know why that's good? Because a lot of times when you're doing this, the walls inside get dirty with a lot of soil. Oh, sure. And so cleaning you're it cleaning anyway. it, and you're also getting it nice and filled. And you may be seeing that the soil here is turning a little bit darker. Let me see if I can get it to show you. Huh. Ah, there we go. Yeah. And so once you give it a nice little soak so that all of the soil is nice and, uh -huh. and dark but not saturated, then what you do is you take a cover or a seal. I just found this has just happened to fit really nicely, but you could also use a little museum putty to, to get give it, it a nice place. seal. These already have their own screw tops. And how is it, it going to live? I don't well, understand. Well, this, I think we have a, a photo that shows you the water cycle in nature. You know, all the water on earth that's here now has been here for millennia. And what, all it does is it, it goes up in the air. The heat makes it condense and evaporate into droplets. Then it falls back into the ocean. And it does it again around and around and around. And that's what's happened here. So and the it's water not going to mold? Up. No. If you have the charcoal, the black charcoal that we used, that is something that helps it's to here. keep the balance and sweetness of the soil. So it's just going to form a condensation layer. You're going to see it condensed here. But here's, here's one thing. If you, it's 24-7 with condensation all over it, that means too much water. Take, Open uh, it up. Uh, okay. Let it, and then you so should see it only at night and in find the morning. Those, what do you find in those bottles? Oh, secondhand stores. Sure. These are just drinking bottles where you can get where you buy yeah, water, water, like reverse yeah. osmosis. Yeah. Uh, gives a decorative, you know, the whole source. Would you, look, would you sure. look up tranium yes, jars, jars online? I don't know that they sell them specifically, yeah. but just look for something that you know Large at least, bottle. yeah, you can yeah. get through the neck a little two inch or a cutting yeah. or something. That's really fascinating. fascinating. I love this. I love Wonder, this. Thank Shirley. you so much, Shirley.